You ever had a bike with perfectly adequate handlebar grips, but wish that they were leather? That's what we're gonna do today. Let's go. The first step is to take off the old grips. Next, we need to choose the type of leather. I'm going to go with this Kodiak Oil Tan Leather, uh, which is sealed with waxes and oils, so it's water resistant. And it'll do best in the rain. And it's black and it's soft, which is gonna be really important for when you're riding a bike for a long time. So, this is it. All right, so this next step is an important one. You're going to cut a strip of the leather you're going to use, and you're gonna use that strip to wrap around your handlebar to find the diameter and the right measurement. Because if you use something that's more thin or more thick than the material you're using, the measurement's gonna be incorrect and it's not gonna line up properly. And while you're here doing that step, you might as well measure the length of your handlebar. So mine is four and three quarters of an inch. So now that we made that mark, probably can't see it on the camera, but now we can measure that to the edge. So it looks like it's three inches. So that means that my piece I need to cut needs to be three inches by four inches and three quarters. So now you take your scrap leather. What I'm gonna do is just cut a right angle on it. So that rotary tools are really great for cutting leather. Toss that. Take your marking tool, mark on four and three quarters three inches. Now I'm just gonna rotate this and then I can measure three inches, line these back up, four and three quarter, take my rotary cutter again, and mark that back up. And there's one of the, one of the pieces. And then, since I know that that's a straight line, I'm just gonna do this. Four and three quarters and three inches, just gonna line these back up. Perfect. All right, here are your two pieces. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these guys and the stitching I want to go across, I want to be about a quarter of an inch wide. So what I'm gonna do is take half of that, or sorry, just over half, so about an eighth of an inch. I'm gonna mark the long sides, which are the sides that are going to be sewn together. And then you take one of these tools, which is called the spur tool, and line it up. What I like to do is do about half, half of a little spike to start with, and then just kind of roll down. And the size of spike I got is about a quarter of an inch between each point. And so I can kind of just line them up that way. And now I know where my little dots need to be. Do that for both pieces. Now we need to punch holes. To punch the holes, I'm gonna use what's called the rotary hole punch, and I'm gonna put it on its smallest setting. 
And now I'm just gonna do the tedious process of punching every one of these holes out. And make sure you're staying on that line too. Okay, so now we're gonna wipe off the handlebars. So there's no grease or anything remaining on them from the old grips. And what I'm gonna do now is add some rubber cement, some barge to the handlebars. Not a ton, but just enough to kinda Grab onto it, you don't even need to go all the way around, just kind of lightly get it on there. Let that sit for five minutes or so. Now I'm gonna take the strap pieces, I'm gonna put some barge on the inside of these as well. I'm gonna kind of avoid the stitch area because that we don't want to be glued down completely yet because we wanna make sure that they can pull towards each other. So I'm just gonna glue to the inside edge of where we punch those holes. We're gonna let that kind of dry for the next five minutes. Now that these have dried to the point where they're not sticky, we're gonna take our wraps. And what I'm gonna do is I want the seam to be right on the front side here. So I'm just gonna span it across there. And I'm just gonna slowly work it back around the handle. So I'm actually gonna start from the inside and work my way out. How I stitch these, I'll give you an example, a little close up. I take the needle of the one side and then you go to the opposite hole. And then once it's underneath, you send it over to the second hole. And then you pull that tight. And then you take the other side and do the same thing. So to the next hole and then out the second one on the other side. Then you pull that tight. And that's how you're gonna get that stitch, that little bar stitch. All right, and then when you get to the end of the handlebar, like so, pull that nice and tight. And you're gonna knot this. I just do kind of a double knot. And then take your scissors and snip it off. And then you burn the thread and then kind of shove it underneath of the handlebar.
All right, and that is how you wrap your handlebars in leather. Super easy, quick little project, um, and definitely worth doing. So, all right, I'll see you guys next time.